So in every field, music, science, literature, there are moments, there are ideas that when they were created, create this watershed where everything that happens after that has been changed. The history of that endeavor has been changed. And in that way, Tristan and Isolde by Wagner is like the E equals MC squared in, in music terms. Um, and I say that for a couple of reasons. One, it was profound, but two, it is so concise. Wagner starts this piece with something that's not so unusual. But when it lands, there's this kind of uncomfortable dissonance that we expect to resolve, but it doesn't. Now, at the time that this was written, it should have gone. I mean, you had four chords that were all dissonant. That's got to resolve. But that's not what he does. Just continuing dissonance, lifting, tugging. Then there's a long silence just to build the tension. Dissonant silence, if you will. And then higher. Now, as either profound or as simple as that seems, I can tell you that when Wagner wrote this, if he were a student in the university and he turned this in for term paper, he would have failed. You simply didn't fail to resolve dissonances this way. But what Wagner is trying to express is this unending yearning of the forbidden love of Tristan and Isolde, something that cannot be satisfied. And he actually believed in Schopenhauer's idea that we have a will with desires, with impulses that cannot be satisfied until the will releases itself at death. And that's exactly what happens in this opera when four hours later, we finally get that major chord, that resolution that we've been aching for since the beginning. To think that he changed how we think about dissonance in something as actually kind of short and sweet as... It's like a very concise formula, like energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. It's kind of a simple statement, but the ramifications that both have change their respective fields forever. Suddenly, dissonance had a place by itself. It didn't have to resolve. So Debussy could write about the love of a little fawn. Or Stravinsky could write about the primitive savageness. But they couldn't have done it without that moment in Tristan and Isolde, which changed everything forever. <laughs>